Yeah. Yeah. Uh, day 11 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about the intro and everything. Uh, ran a half marathon today. Uh, like, n not not at full speed, just practice. Or, like, just work out. That was half mile length, <clears throat> half marathon length. So that was good. <clears throat> Went to the Liberty game, man. Uh, sad face. They, they lost in very dramatic fa fashion. So uh, my heart is a little broken. But the Yankees won, so that's good. Uh, I'm a very sport person. I played a lot of sports uh, back in when I was young. So, yeah. Anyway, ah. Uh, uh, I mean, go Yankees, but also go Liberty. But uh, uh, it's been a rough day. All right, let's take a look at today's poem, 1942, the number of smartest unoccupied chair. All right, there's a party with N friends, numbered from 0 to N minus 1. Attending, there are a lot of chairs, infinite amount. In fact, 0 to infinity is kind of weird, but anyway. When a friend N arrives at the party, they sit on an unoccupied chair, the smallest number. Okay, so this is actually called a max, right? Oops. Uh, and that, it, and what max means, and you could Google this, really. It's like a maximal uh, excluding or something. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong or something. But something, but yeah, but, uh, but yeah. And you can maybe even ask, uh, 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 ChatGBT or something. Me Max things for Mexican. That's not what it means. In math. Huh. Minimum excluded value? Hmm. Oh yeah, I don't know why I said maximum. Huh. But, um... Alright. Well, turns out... Yeah, uh, okay. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know why I said maximum because it's minimal, right? Or, or minimum. Because we're looking for the smallest number. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little bit shattered. But in any case, yeah, it's come up that it's actually something that comes up a lot. Um, wait, well, sorry, actually, it doesn't really come up that much, but it is a very core part of at least for computer and competitive programming. It is a core part of uh, game theory. I can't even get the words out. Game theory, so definitely read up on that. And it actually, part of this goes into the NIM stuffs too, NIMs and NIMBERS. Um, definitely, you know, if you have like a long afternoon or two or three, definitely something that you can read about. I would, I found it interesting when I was very young. So, so uh, yeah, and it comes up here and there in competitive programming. Probably go not that much. I mean, this one is just asking you, right? So I don't know. Okay, so let's take a look at what this problem actually is asking, though. But that's basically uh, an idea. Okay, so when when a friend leaves the party, the chair is occupied. They could sit in that chair at the same moment. Okay, so here, what are the times? Times divides the friend. Okay, so what I've said first, four, two, and three, and four and six, and then you have a target friend. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you just have to kind of just sort these friends and do it themselves. Um, the big thing is what is n, right? N is 10 to the 4th, which gives you uh, a lot of possibilities in, in, um, which gives you a lot of possibility in, in, uh, kind of just calculating it, right? Um, yeah, I mean, there, there, there are a lot of ways you can, um, do it, uh, and it depends on how you want to write it. Um, I'm thinking about a, a lazy way of lazy as in terms of just lazy loading lazy, not me being lazy. Well, maybe I am anyway, but um, way of loading it, but it's actually not necessary. So we can just do something like n is equal to length of times, right? And then we can, uh, you know, just put everything in, in, in another language, uh, like in C++, this would be like a set because set is like a binary tree or you can use it in a binary tree e kind of way to get the smallest number right um you can of course also use um use a, a heap or something like this right um and just put all the numbers of all the relevant chairs and that's basically it um and of course there is a, a way to do it so that it's lazy 
because you only get the newest numbers if all the possible numbers are small, right? But we won't do that. And what I mean by that is that, for example, if you're a heap, uh, you have a heap, right? Um, yeah, you, so one way you can think about it is that, you know, and, and I know that there's a heap of five, but I want to write it out for visualization. Uh, for, for for x in range of n, we do heap q dot heap push uh, into h and x, right? So then now uh, h will contain h will contain um, available chairs, right? Yeah. So we all so whenever uh, the, the times come, there'll be available chairs, and we can definitely do that. Uh, you can make it a little bit more efficient by, by um, as I said, uh, do this lazy, right? Because we know the size of heap. If all the chair and or uh, yeah, we know the size of heap. We also can keep track of of how many numbers are used or something like this. And if it's all filled up or or. or you know, all the available chairs are empty, uh, uh, or all the available chairs are taken, sorry, then you can just add more chairs into the heap. Um, so you could kind of do that in, in a lazy way, if you will, but, you know, obviously we, we didn't do it, and we don't have to do it, so, uh, yeah. So let's kind of do it this way for a second, right? Uh, I don't know, but, uh, I need to hydrate. I, 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 I ran 13 miles, but I also walked around a, a quite a bit to go to the game and all these things. So I think like today I walked like 20 miles or something, or like walked and ran, so I'm, I'm a little bit tired. That's why I, always, I keep looking at my, my bottle of tea, but I, I think I ran out. But, uh, but yeah, so then now we can sort uh, times, right? So there are two things. One is uh, arrival and the other is uh, when they leave, right? So for S, uh, uh, yeah, like I, I write S Y as in, in um, like start and finish, right? Or start and end more specifically. And we, we need to keep track of the index, so we have to write something like this. And then now we want to just put. I always think of them as defense, so I always call well call it defense for that reason. And then now we can say at time S. For index, we start, right, and then we can also put uh, at in index, we leave, negative one. And the good thing about this also is that when you sort this, if everything, um, actually, hmm, I, I think I did this wrong. I think I want the one before the index because we do want it to sort by the second thing as a tiebreaker because then now uh, we can... Actually, no, 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 I, I mean, yes, but we'll have to do it later because I think we want the end to actually also contain the number of chair, right? So that it gives it up. Um, and so for now, you only put it if you have a chair, right? Um, also, is that case, then it's not a event anymore. I mean, you can keep it as a event, but... But you can't just sort the event and then just sweep, right? You have to uh, keep it as a heap um, because, yeah, because you're adding, you're going to be adding events in the middle, so of your iteration, right? So then now, uh, yeah, now we just go for the events, right? So while length of events is greater than zero, we can do uh, hip pop of events. We get the uh, the time. Uh, the the uh, uh, the time I was gonna say type, but it obviously also is T, and I'm a little bit lazy. So maybe just I think type is probably a keyword too, right? So anyway, T Y for type, and uh, or maybe just Y for Y, eh, whatever. I was gonna say Y times, but maybe that's terrible. I don't know. Naming things is hard. Um, okay. Right. So if T Y is equal to one, then uh, this person needs a chair, right? Uh, and the, the chairs are going to be at H, so then we just get the smallest chair, right? Assign the smallest chair to um, index, right? 
And in fact, we don't actually care where, where they sit. Um, and, so, and that's the target friend, right? So, okay, so... But, uh, yeah, uh, chair is equal to heap dot, uh, uh, we pop it from H, right? Uh, and the only thing that we have to do is that at times E, we have a chair back. Actually, we don't even care about the index of the person who left, right? We just care about the chair, so we could do it this way. Um, yeah. And then else, which means that the type is equal to negative one, then we get the chair back, right? So we get the chair back. So then now we can push it back to heap uh, the other one, yeah, the chair, right? Which is index of the chair, which is kind of confusing maybe, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the idea and it should be good enough. Keeping in mind that events, this only push one additional thing, so eventually it will run out. Um, we do have a target friend, right? So here, I think this is good enough, which is that if index is equal to target friend, then at this time we want to return the chair, right? Otherwise, this should be, should never happen because we should all, all the the events should contain every possible friend, and so this should. So this would never, you know, maybe we could even do a while true, I think. Uh, feels okay, maybe I have a typo, I don't know. Let's just YOLO submit. Ooh, I do have a typo. Huh, and I did three. Mm. Did I mess up like an off by one at a time? One and four leaves at four and cheer for two, right? Uh... Okay, I'll put 12 expected 2. Hmm. There's a lot. That's... Huh. <coughs> I've, arrival time is this thing for some reason now. Huh. Am I like... Am I doing the wrong index? No, that's right. Hmm. That, that's, this is actually very surprising. Not gonna lie. Um, let's see. Did I change anything in logic? So... Uh, and on type breaking on S is equal to E, negative 1 goes first, so then we get the, the chair back before we... Um, before we pop, which will be on this one anyway. Hmm. Looks okay. So let's uh, let's actually the thing. The good thing about this is that with especially with these examples, we can just print out to see um, if at, at least whether this matches it, right? T T Y index and maybe H sub zero will give us um, like like we could use this to see if this list of events match what the, what we think it is, right? So time one. We have type 1 of index uh, 0, and the top of the heap is 0, so that's good. This is good. Um, oh, did I mess this up? Oh, yeah, okay. I, I don't know. Uh, I am being dumb. I'm being dumb. I, I did the E here because I kind of moved it from here, but I, I don't save this anywhere. So this doesn't make sense. What I want is times of index of one which is the year element I don't I guess I just got lucky with these uh, the two cases um, hmm. I'm just being silly that wasn't even close I mean the algorithm is still right I suppose probably hopefully knock on wood but that is just a very silly mistake just one of those days I'm just so tired uh, so yeah I, w I was gonna do another bomb but I think I'm just like my eyes are heavy honestly yeah, I mean, I don't expect this to be that. This is pretty much what I have, right? Um, uh, I guess I could have done all the events at the same time. We just don't keep track of the chair. I mean, we could, well, I mean, keeping that at the same time means that we have to keep track of chairs here instead, which is, I guess, is fine. It's not a big deal either way. I mean, I, I, I didn't do it this way today because... Uh, I wanted to push the heap later, and if I do it later, 
um, then obviously I have to sort later, right? But but I guess this doesn't change, so that's why it's fine. Uh, man, my eyes are bugging me right now. So that's all I have for today. Um, the the complexity. This is going to be n log n, right? He on n items. This is going to be um, also n log n, right? We we push two items on this heap, uh, and so the, the uh, um, yeah. So n log n, the O of n number of events, right? At most two times n number of events. So and we we do log n operation for each one. A couple of heap pushes and pops. So everything is n log n. And that's all I have for this one. Silly mystic aside, hopefully. But yeah, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. And yeah, uh, that's all I have for this. One. Uh, I don't know. Stay good, stay healthy to get mental health. Sorry, I'm just not having a good day, it seems like. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.